Hey guys, it is time for my beauty and fashion hot picks for the month of November. And um, this month I have a few things that I'm actually excited about. And so I want to start with beauty. Um, really quickly, I'm really loving updos for the month of November, and which is really unusual. I don't normally say do an updo during the fall or winter time. Um, and the style that I'm really liking is just the really kind of ethereal, fairy-like, almost spring looks that include, you know, braids that are kind of where you braid a section of your hair and kind of tuck it in, and kind of little wispy curls kind of pinned and tucked all over the head. Um, fancier than kind of just like a messy undone bun, but not a full coiffed, you know, tight curled, like, you know, wedding or super tight prom look. Although these looks you could easily wear, you know, for a dance or something like that. But just a little more loose than that, a little more natural, you know, a little more flowy pieces. Um, you know, some little curls and waves here, some twists and tucks there, some little loose kind of sprays coming out here. But, you know, add in some braids, add in some, uh, you know, little hair picks or flowery sort of headbands to it or anything like that. I'm really loving that for November. And that's normally a hairstyle that you would see in the spring, but I just feel like for right now it's just really pretty and soft and kind of bright and lightens up the face. And during this time when we're doing all of our layering and, or, and everything like that, it can get really heavy and when your hair is kind of down and long and um, it can just sort of drag everything down. It feels heavy and we have some of the grayer days that we've had lately. It's just all kind of blah and heavy. And so I really just like the loose up to you, especially because you'll be wearing a lot of things like, um, you know, a lot of turtlenecks or mock turtlenecks and you know, layers and hoodies and things that kind of come up high around the neck. And so to have that nice, um, loose, pretty, soft hair up is just really, really pretty and feminine and flattering. So um, try some of those hairstyles. I mean, they're all over the place. You can look up, you know, videos, how-to videos online. You're going to see a lot of pictures like that right now uh, in magazines and things with girls having their hair that way. Um, so, you know, just there's no rules about how to do it. I'm not going to say do the specific one, but just try any of those, especially if you've never tried those before. Um, give those a try now. As we move into November, you know, a lot of areas, especially around here, November tends to actually be a little bit nicer and a little bit warmer than the end of October, and we tend to have more uh, more bright days than we did in October. And um, so it's just kind of a, a nice sort of brighter feel that kind of lifts the wintry blah a little bit. Um, and so I just really like that look for November. So just give it a try. If, if you've never tried any of those hairstyles before, give it a try. Or if you have one that you love that you probably wear usually in the spring or early summer, break it back out. You can even try some uh, fall, you know, sort of hair accessories, but that are still light and kind of, I don't know. If it reminds you of like a fairy or something, then you're probably right on target with it. For fashion, um, I'm really loving a very specific shirt style for the month of November. And uh, it's basically going to be a button-down dress shirt, just like a plain button-down dress, sh dress shirt, almost kind of a masculine cut. Um, and it's going to be, it's going to have a print on it, but it's going to be in panels. So let's see if I can describe this for you in a way that you can understand. Basically what you're going to see is on the front of the shirt, you know, the buttons come down the middle and you've got the front panels of the shirt and here are where the sleeves attach. So from the outer panel, you're going to see a print that goes all the way down the side of the shirt and um, it's been florals. They've been a floral print. So the floral print starts kind of where the sleeve is and kind of where the side seam is and goes, you know, from the side seam towards the middle of the shirt. But as you get into the middle of the shirt, Let's say these are flowers here. So the flowers are going to sort of break off and the middle of the shirt is just going to be the solid shirt color. And you're usually going to see them in white. Um, the shirt's going to be white and the print is going to be whatever the floral print is. So you're going to have the edge of the flowers and it's just going to kind of fade off into the white in the middle. And you're going to have that on both, both panels. So 
both of the shirts kind of coming in are going to have the flowers are going to die off the outer portion of the shirt is going to be more of like solid print but then it's going to kind of fade off into the ends of the flowers and then it's just going to come into the solid color in the middle the sleeves will be solid color um, so it really is just like a panel of print that these shirts are going to have and I'm just really loving them for November and it's very odd because it's not a style that I normally would really like it's very reminiscent of like a, a men's western style shirt um, it's almost like you take a men's western style shirt and a very feminine floral um, pattern or print that you might see on something like uh, a, a wallpaper like a strip of edging or something like that and you mush those two together and all of a sudden you have this sort of masculine shirt that becomes very feminine and sort of unusual. Um, this is not a trend that's going to last for forever. Uh, not a lot of people are going to pick up on it and that's what I really like about it is that um, it's going to be really nice. People are going to compliment you on the shirt. It's a really nice shirt but you're not going to see it all over the place going to be a little bit harder to find. There's a lot of it out there, but it's, you know, if you're shopping in Walmart and Target and those are the only places you go, you're not as likely to see this style shirt. You're going to have to work just a little bit harder to, to find it. Um, but I love that it's taking the masculine trend, which everybody's going to be wearing this fall, and it's really adding a feminine twist, and it's doing it in an um, unusual way that we don't normally we don't normally see and we're probably not going to see again for a long time so this is going to be one of those pieces that when you pick it up it's going to be in your wardrobe and it's going to be an unusual piece that not everybody's going to have and that you can really wear it you're going to get full wear out of it during you know this fall but it's going to be one of those pieces that you can pull back out here and there and style it kind of in your own way as the years go by and it's going to really just give you your own personal style and everybody else is not going to have it and so they're going to be like where did you get that and oh I love your shirt and you're going to be like oh this I got this you know five years ago uh, in the fall I wore it a lot in, in that in November and I pull it out every now and then and you can't have one because they don't make them anymore <laughs> you know it's going to be one of those pieces where people are over the years they're really going to like it and you're going to pull it out here and there and you're really going to get your money's worth out of it because it's going to be different and unusual um, and like I said, it's got that masculine edge to it with the dress shirt style and the cut, but it's got that feminine feel with the floral print. Um, it's just the best of both worlds. And you can do anything with it. I mean, it's just a button-down shirt. So if you want to, you know, tuck it in and wear it with your jeans and a belt, you can. Or, you know, leave it loose if you want to belt it uh, kind of under the bust and leave it open at the bottom. I mean, there's a million way, different ways you can style it. You can layer things over it and under it. And... Um, so, you know, just having that hint of flowers coming out of like a, um, you know, a vest or any kind of pullover jacket or blazer that you might wear adds that little feminine detail touch, um, but you can still put, you know, a feminine cami underneath, even a, even a cami with some lace or some flower print underneath it if you wanted to. Wear it with a big chunky necklace if you want to. I mean, you can really do whatever you want with it. You could really go western with it, but you can really make it super feminine with a nice uh, pencil skirt or A-line skirt and tights and knee-high boots. So I'm really loving it. So hopefully you understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> if I can find one, I'll try to find one. I've seen a bunch of them, but I haven't snagged a link to any of them so far. So. If I can go back and kind of find some examples, I will put links for those down in the information bar so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about. Um, so that's all I have for you this month. There's a lot of things you can do in the month of November. Um, remember that I like to be a little more forward thinking. I don't always like to do what everybody else is doing. I like to be a little more original and kind of ahead of the game. Some of these, the things that I recommend are things that people you'll if you follow my recommendations you'll do it now and you'll see that a year from now then everybody else has finally picked up on it <laughs> um and we'll be on to something something else so that's the way i like to do it i've talked about that before so just keep that in mind um if you really like to be on exact trend sometimes my recommendations may not you may be like what is she talking about i haven't seen people wearing that yet you haven't yet but you will <laughs> that's the idea 
um, and you will because they saw you wearing it and they liked it on you and so they start to replicate and copy the things that you're doing so that's how we like to do it up in here <laughs> Okay, so I hope you like this video. Let me know what your um, hot picks are for the month. I would love to hear what everybody else is interested in too. And I will see you next time. Bye.